gods. I hate ghouls. Their stench, their rough voices and their gods. I hate it all. But there is one thing I respect. They are brave. Foolishly so, I admit, but brave nonetheless. And it is that foolish bravery that has led them here to our winter rest. Our summer campaigns were successful and we beat them back, conquering new lands and bringing civilization to their stinking way of life. After the death and destruction of the summer, my army hoped for a long winter rest at Eretium, but Brenos, the warlord of the Gauls, thought otherwise. He led his men through the forest and the frost and the snows, and now he is here, parked outside my city like a rabid wolf hungry for flesh. And this time he does not come alone. The fool Bolgios has joined, a peasant who now styles himself a chief. Chief of what? A half-baked rabble barely capable of following orders? The fool. Who dares to disturb my winter rest without a sword piercing them through the heart? So, they have forced me to fight, something my men have lost their thirst for. However, I cannot let us lose. To lose Aretium would be a stain on my family for a generation. So to arms then, to beat back the barbarian hordes that come knocking on our door. And when they break and run, when their leaders lie dead and the first smell of spring is in the air, I will force them to remember this day. Remember it on the end of a Roman sword. Fight then, men. Fight for your lives. It is time to beat back the invaders. And when winter is done, I will give you your vengeance once and for all. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today I am excited to bring you day one of our 12 Battles of Christmas, a series where I'm going to be bringing you a different battle, a different historical older total war battle every single day for the 12 days up to Christmas. This is going to be really fun, guys. And if it does bring you any Christmas cheer, please do comment, like, and subscribe down below. That would be fantastic. So the idea of this series, guys, is we're going to bring you 12 battles, one each day, or a series of battles on the day, with a few special guests, so stay tuned for that as well. That's going to be fantastic. I can't wait for you guys to see some of the special guests we're going to have on the channel as well. And we're going to be featuring the older Total War games, the historical Total War games. And today we have our Rome Remastered battle. And you have already seen the intro, you've already seen the context for this battle, but the bloody Gauls have come down to Eretium in the winter, brave and mad as they are. A horde of Gauls, as you can see, a massive horde. Um, they have the peasant leader up here, Belgius, and we have the Gallic general, Brenios, over here as well. And they really want to destroy our resting army that is resting through the winter. It does have some experience, as you can see, because it's been on campaigns already. And some of their troops do have some decent experience as well, most notably the Druids. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the battle. We are playing on very hard. It is going to be live commentary, not a cinematic battle, although I did do the intro. Uh, and we're going to see whether we can push them back. We have our Hastati on this flank, which, of course, uh, are a brutal, brutal unit. They do have good experience because they've been here since the start. Uh, but we are going to be fighting the peasants on this flank and trying to beat them back. Of course, we do not know whether this will work. We have our equites ready to respond to any problems that we may have. Where is our general? He's hiding on this flank. I'm going to bring him with the equites just for now. Uh, and then over here, of course, we have our triarii, our most brutal unit, our best unit. They are going to try and defend all these outcroppings in Eretium and defend for their lives, guys, of course. Uh, because we all know the Gauls have a storm... But, oh, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say then. The Gauls are a stormy people. They're a fiery people. And they will not be happy to just sit and take a beating. So they are going to be fighting through us as well as they can. 
And we're going to match the back of the Triarii with the Principes so that we can fire our Javis into our enemies. Of course, they're manning the Rams with Peasants, which is never something that we're really too interested in. Uh, but targeting the Druids is very good because we need to destroy the enemy morale. Uh, this is going to be a brutal battle. It's going to be harder than you might expect. I know we are the Romans. Ah, oh, they are not deciding to come through the gates, which is interesting. Um, and we'll uh, man these guys out here. Going to do the classic V formation so we can fire our Javis into the enemy. Um, and then, yeah. Ideally, I would like to kill that general. And in fact, we are going to do that. We're going to send our Equites forth a bold move. A bold strategy to start with. Send those equites forth. And we shall hopefully defeat them in the battlefield. Uh, so that we can kill that barbarian fool. Brennios. Oh, sorry, Belgius, the leader of the peasants. And I hope you enjoy this series, guys. I am really looking forward to it. It should be good fun. Um... And we do, as I say, have some special guests. I'm not going to reveal them in this first video. Uh, but yeah, you will see who we've got going along. It includes YouTubers. It includes mod developers of various mods. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for some of those videos. They will be fantastic when we get going. Right, Equites, it's time for you to have a go at this general. And then, in fact, I think we go after the second general because that is really... Really, the most important thing we can do is fight uh, and kill their general because we know how much the Gauls rely on the morale from their generals. Uh, the one thing I'm slightly worried about is we're going to be firing a lot of Javis into peasants right now, which is never great. Uh, oh, good, good job that uh, Princapes is actually not firing at peasants. There we got their war cry, and here they come through the gates, guys, into our tree area. I'm going to put them all on guard mode for now. I want them to stay in formation. Uh, problem is... Oh, here we go. And we're going to go kill that general. He's uh, exposed. And I'm thinking we bring our general down this way. Look at this. Here they come. We already have one broken, interestingly enough. But we have naked fanatics in here as well. And they are very scary for our men. Our triarea are steady right now, which is great. This is really going to come down to whether we can... Uh, yeah, we need to kill that general. The peasant army has already broken. We need to destroy them. Destroy them fully. Because they will come back. This is on very hard, I promise, guys. <laughs> like, I don't know why they broke so quickly. <clears throat> I mean, the general did just get routed. And maybe they all just routed as soon as that happened. But that was quite an easy victory over there. Come on, men. This Triaria is really taking a battering now. We need to get the Princapes in there. They've got some... Uh, they've got their Druids chanting, which is making these guys eager. And here they come, the last of them coming through. I don't think anyone will come back now, so I'm going to bring my Hastati back round to the middle. And we're going to bring our cavalry round as well I'm not going to be too cheap I'm not actually going to fight these guys in the back because it looks very much like they're going to break through unless they rout oh my god my princapes have routed that is not good so maybe I will have to and so has my triarii I'm going to have to rally come on Hastati this is really important you get into this fight get there Ah, uh, we can't fight Warband with our own general. They are spearmen. Gonna have to abandon <laughs> the men on the front line. And you can see our Triaria has broken as well. Maybe this is time to retreat to the town square. Bad times. Bad times for us down here. Like I said, the first army broke so easily. Now we just need to... We need to kill as many as we can. And I'm gonna go after their general. I think my Equites can handle it. They have good experience. Um, but yeah, this is, this is actually tougher than I was expecting. And my, yeah, my archers have run the wrong way, unfortunately. Yeah, now these guys have broken the Princapes. These Princapes very likely will break soon as well. So the peasant army has been quashed. But there is many more armies to destroy. There are many more men to fight. 
And how are my Equites doing? They have charged into the enemy general. That is going to be crucial to whether we can win this. Uh, yeah, we'll get you there. And I'm going to get Ahastati. Yeah, he's running away, but we need to we need to kill him. Ideally. Why will you not fit in there, my friend? And now he's dead? Good. Now our Equites are going to come into their own. This is a bit of a mess around here right now. You go there. And here come the hordes of barbarians, unaware that their general has been killed. Um, who are those? Druids. They're the, they're the people we should target next. Get rid of their morale. Oh, this is, this is going to be tight, in fact. This is going to be a lot tighter than what I was expecting. These Prinkapes can stand here. More Triarii as well. Guys, yeah, there's not many of you left. The Triarii have really taken a huge battering uh, in this battle so far. And we're going to get uh, our archers in there to fire into the hordes. Oh, Prinkapes, you can man the front line, my friends. Get you on guard mode. Get you all on guard mode. Doesn't look like anyone's coming this way. Where are we going? We're going after this druid, but they have Warband, who are impetuous. Uh, this is going to be tough. There's more druids over here as well. There's only four of them, though. We need to kill as many druids as we can, and that's not going to really be the charge that we're after. So let's get back. In fact, one of my equites is actually routed there. And the hordes are not happy about the equites, which makes sense. We know the equites can do a lot of damage. And they know that as well. And that's, in fact, the second Equites routing. That's most likely from Overwhelming Force. Just come around here, my friends. Just come this way. And this is really going to come down to who can last the longest in the town square. It's a brutal battle so far. Look at this. The naked fanatics fighting on. And there they go. They are broken. Good. Good. Okay, a big route there, a big route. And I'm not actually sure why. Unhappy to see friends routing. Unhappy overtaking casualties. Exhaustion as well is part of it. But a lot of these guys are not exhausted. They're just a bit winded. Hmm. My single equites that is left. The rest of them have all died. It's going to have to come around this way. Uh, we can't take these guys on head on. I could get a nice charge on that druid though. And this really is... Sort of the... Uh, I'm going to stick you on guard mode as well. Fire at these druids. There's 20 of them. They should be easy target for the archers. I don't think they have a huge amount of ammo. Uh, sorry, armor. Oh, no, they do. Seven armor. That's actually quite decent. Our archers are not great either. Eight missile attacks. So they should be doing decent damage. Guys, can you actually fire? That would be nice. A lot of them are routing as they come up to us, and that is predominantly because they lack um, they lack a general now. And as we know, the Gauls, or as all barbarian factions, are very much morale based. Um, but I just I love RIS so much; it is amazing. But it's cool sometimes to just come down to. Uh, yeah, shoot into the naked fanatics there would be ideal. Uh, it's cool sometimes to come back to vanilla and see how it goes. And it's just so nostalgic to come back to vanilla. That is a big druid fight on the front line. They are going to shred through our Hastati there. If we have a problem, we might have to get the uh, Prinkapes in on the action. And I think we lose, you know. I, at the minute, I'm thinking we're going to lose. Um... Right, Triarii, I'm going to have to get you into the fight over here. You guys stay there. I know you're not too happy. One thing with Hastati is that it, it does... Like, as we found in our Skippy Eye campaign, it routes really easily. Uh, a, lot easily a lot easier than you think. Those druids are just fighting on. They're starting to die a bit now. Um, but yeah, and our archers are pretty much out. I'm going to rally the boys. Rally, my men. And I think we go down this way. I think we've got one Hail Mary. Oh, it's a huge route. Huge route. I think as the Druids routed, they all ran. Let's go then. Let's go. This is this is this is this is the point where we need to go. You go down the middle. 
We'll go around the side. We'll charge through that naked fanatics. This might be it, guys. This might be it. Well, who is this? Forester Warbands. They will route easily as well. Go. Okay, you're going this way as well. That's that's fine. Just go that way. Come on, break this naked fanatic. Yeah, now we go through. Now we go through. You can see a lot of them have come back, but this is going to be a theme that repeats itself. They will route and then they will uh, then they will come back. That happens a lot with the Gauls or any barbarian faction, really. Okay, what's this? Broken Warband is trying to run through, but Druids on this side. Let's get our Triarii in there to fight those Druids, because they have just broken our Hastati once again. God damn it, Druids. You're too good. You're too powerful. That Warband is broken. Let's uh, charge them just to make sure they never come back. And we have another Naked Fanatics over here. Oh, they tried to run away, but they got absolutely squished. Again, I think it th was the Druids routing there that, that basically destroyed any hopes of the Gauls. They saw their, their iconic troops routing, running from the battlefield. Their troops that they look up to the most. Their elite boyos. In fact, they're, not only their elite boyos, their uh, leaders of their religion were running from the battle showing that the gods were not on their side. And with that, they decided that it was not time uh, to press the attack. But we are on to the Forester Warband then. Let's go. Let's charge them and see whether we can get them routing. And let's keep going with this momentum because even those naked fanatics are wavering. And let's see whether we can finally bring an end to this battle. Yes! Glorious victory. Let's continue and kill the rest of this army. But I hope you have enjoyed that battle, guys. That was fun. That was so bloody. Look at that. They took us down to 26%. That's actually the best I've seen the Gauls do for quite some time on vanilla. Because generally they don't do too well. Um, against Romans, at least. But well done on a siege assault as well. That is fantastic. Um, so, guys, that is episode one out of the way. The first day of our 12 battles of Christmas. Excuse me first day of our 12 battles of christmas and it was a bloody one on the rome original well rome remastered and the next one i'm not going to reveal what it is you're just gonna have to wait guys i'll leave you in suspense in fact let's uh let's have a look at the stats first we inflicted 2666 casualties wow 1000 they inflicted that is a huge amount this uh, peasant army, unfortunately, they inflicted eight. That's seriously not many. Look at that, extra days, 430, 526. That is quite a lot. Roman general, 205. This triore, 113. Well done. 146 for a Princapes as well. And 149 for some archers, with it taking only two casualties. That is some really, really good numbers. How about some of these guys? They just, across the board, did some decent casualties. Just steady across the board. 89 for some naked fanatics. 96 for those naked fanatics. And 93 for the druids. Which, for a unit that starts with only, what, 30 men, that is quite good. 3 to 1 kill ratio. But I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Please do like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, comment down below who you think may be featuring on some of these videos. Some of the mods, some of the mods that we might be playing, etc. That would be awesome. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. Merry Christmas to you all. And I will see you all again on the next video.